Now you might be in a weird situation where your iPhone is no longer working or it's not working properly after updating. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons. The big thing I will definitely tell you though, no matter what, after an update, there can be lots of weird issues that happen. First thing for me, I've been using my 13 Pro. I just updated to the most recent version and there can be some issues and some weird things that happen. But over time, those issues kind of getting fixed. But if your iPhone is like completely not powering on or if it's like completely broken, this can probably mean that your iPhone just shut off during its, you know, when you were actually, you know, going through and updating it. So the best thing you can do here is to pretty much just charge up your iPhone. Charge up your iPhone, make sure it's up to like 100% and just let it sit there and then it'll automatically update. It'll do a lot of other things, but that is the big thing I'd recommend doing. Just going through and allowing your phone to essentially update and that in and of itself will be a massive thing I'd recommend every single person to do. Now, let's say you do that and that's still not working. The next thing I'd recommend doing is seeing if there's already an update available for your iPhone. Although you just updated it or maybe you updated it a week ago or whatever, there may already be a fix for it. So make your way over to your settings application of your iPhone. Click onto your general settings right there. Click on the software update. And what you're going to want to do here, once again, is update your iPhone. Now you can see I'm on the latest version of iOS 16. I've not updated a 17 yet. But if I wanted to, I could go ahead and try upgrading to iOS 17 and seeing if that ends up fixing the issue too. Now, if that doesn't end up working, you may want to see what exactly isn't working. Is your complete phone not turning on? That may mean that you may have to plug your iPhone into your Mac or PC and basically allow iTunes or files to essentially go ahead and reinstall iOS on it. If everything seems to be working, but there seems to be some other weird issues going on, let's say the camera's not working or it's not downloading apps or whatever, you may have to troubleshoot those particular issues. Usually those things, I mean, you can just see if there's an update available, cleaning out some storage here and there, some other things here and there, but those are pretty much the main ways to go and fix your iPhone if it's no longer working after an update. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.